The internet in the United States is now rather pricey, not to mention that the speeds aren't exactly as fast as you'd want. Starlink wants to change that by providing internet via satellites, which may be a game changer not only in terms of keeping people connected, but also in terms of disrupting the industry. So what exactly is Starlink? And how has it become so popular in such a short time that Americans just can't wait to make the switch? Let's find out. So firstly, what is Starlink? In October of 2020, 20, the Starlink beta program was initiated. The service's popularity has only grown since then. Starlink has an incredible 140,000 users and is available throughout many nations as of November 2021. According to a recent study, up to half of all Americans desire to switch to Starlink. Given that it's only been out for a little over a year, this is an astounding figure. Starlink is an internet service provider that uses satellite technology. Satellite internet isn't a brand new concept, though, satellites have long been used to broadcast television and radio. They've also been utilized to bring the internet to remote locations. However, Starlink is the very first instance of this technology being used on such a large scale. Over 1,800 satellites have been launched by SpaceX thus far, with plans to launch over 40,000 in the future. The goal of the initiative is to provide high-speed internet to everyone on the planet. However, what SpaceX is doing does not sit well with everyone. The increased number of satellites makes photographing the stars more challenging. As more customers sign up, there are also concerns about how quick the service will be. Nonetheless, according to the aforementioned research, many individuals are already on board, with 55% of those surveyed indicating they would switch to Starlink for faster speeds, even if it meant paying a higher monthly fee. Are Americans prepared to turn away from traditional internet? Even if your internet connection is fast, chances are you despise your internet provider. Consider this. Your supplier can barely provide decent speed for your children who are taking online classes, your work from home partner, or yourself for seminars, video meetings, and watching YouTube. For far too many people, especially in rural regions, this is the condition of the internet, and the only realistic answer on the horizon is the promise of extremely fast satellite connections. That's on the way, courtesy of Amazon's Project Kuiper, which promises speeds of up to 400 megabits per second and SpaceX's Starlink. The buzz around Starlink is so high that Reviews.org polled 500 people over the age of 18 to see if they'd think about being a part of the Starlink movement. Despite the high cost of $499 for an antenna and router plus $99 per month, more than half of those responded to the survey and said they're ready to join the beta program, and 55% of those who don't currently use satellites said they'd stay with Starlink if the connection speed was faster, even if it was more expensive than what they have now. If they can make payments on the equipment rather than paying the $499 up front, like most internet service providers do nowadays, 44% of all respondents would stay with Starlink. With that being said, let's talk about five major reasons why people would want to switch to Starlink. Let's go. Five reasons why people want to switch to Starlink. Starlink is appealing because it provides a number of unique benefits over standard internet services. The following are five reasons why people wish to switch. Number one, internet coverage literally everywhere. Some users are interested in trying Starlink since it is their first chance to get online at an acceptable speed. In the vast majority of the United States, the internet is clearly accessible. However, internet service is still unreliable or insufficient in several locations. This includes rural areas and areas where the cost of establishing cable internet is impractical. It is likely to change with the launch of Starlink. Starlink should someday be able to give fast, dependable internet to anybody regardless of where they live. Number two, calling it fast would be an understatement. Starlink is planned to be available internationally. It is, without a doubt, the service's main selling feature. However, not everyone expected it to be rapid. Satellite internet services were notoriously slow prior to this. As a result, they are mostly used by those who have no other options. Satellite internet, for example, has always been popular on ships. Due to the significant latency, satellite internet was sluggish. Data travels to and from a server in a certain length of time, which is referred to as latency. When satellites are too far away, latency rises and the internet becomes unreliable. This is not an issue with Starlink. It accomplishes this by employing low orbit satellites that are around 550 to 1200 kilometers from Earth, as opposed to the 35,000 kilometers of regular satellites. Other satellite internet providers 
sensors have latency of more than 600 milliseconds, Starlink has a delay of merely 45 milliseconds. This is in addition to stated download speeds ranging from 50 to 150 megabits per second. As a result, Starlink is the first satellite internet service that can handle high demand activities like online gaming. Number three, Starlink is inexpensive. A $499 equipment fee is required if you want Starlink. After that, the subscription costs $99 a month and includes unlimited data. Many internet service providers charge various rates based on how much data you use. As a result, Starlink could be less expensive than what many customers are paying now for a comparable service. There's a chance that the price will go up in the future. However, Starlink has the potential to be highly appealing to some consumers who want to save money while still being able to download as much as they want. Of course, when compared to other satellite internet service providers, number four, the response from existing customers is positive. The Starlink beta program was a huge success with mostly good feedback from customers. Many customers have been amazed to see internet speeds that are equivalent to fiber. The satellite is very simple to set up as seen by a number of videos on YouTube showing individuals doing so. The fact that the majority of people are applauding Starlink is rare. Internet providers are frequently chastised online. As a result, an increasing number of people wish to try the service. Number five, it's backed by SpaceX. Satellite internet is still a relatively new technology. As a result, some are skeptical of the concept. When it comes to overcoming this problem, Starlink has a big advantage. Elon Musk has previously demonstrated his capacity to manufacture electric vehicles and launch people into space. Many people are likely to be more willing to take a chance on Starlink than they would on an alternative company. How to get Starlink. Starlink is presently accessible to everybody in the United States who lives between 45 and 53 degrees latitude. The service's coverage is steadily improving as more satellites are deployed into orbit. If you want to try Starlink but your area isn't yet accessible, you can use a satellite map to watch the project's progress. It's important to remember that Starlink isn't 100% reliable yet. Customers are also warned that disruptions will occur as satellite coverage expands. The installation of Starlink is also done on a first-come, first-served basis. If you want to be one of the first users in your area to receive the service, you should put down a $99 refundable deposit. Can Starlink replace fiber internet? The fact that half of all Americans want to switch to Starlink is certainly bad news for fiber internet services. Some people may even ask if satellite internet can take their place. In the immediate run, this is quite unlike. Although satellite internet is quick, cable internet is still much quicker. As more people sign up, the speeds may slow down. Down, it's also likely that bad weather will occasionally disrupt the transmission. While satellite internet will not be able to completely replace cable, it'll become a popular alternative. Now for some other Starlink news. SpaceX launches 52 Starlink satellites into low orbit. A SpaceX rocket launched 52 Starlink broadband satellites into orbit early Saturday from the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Because the emergence of low latency networks like Starlink, which would allow data to be sent from anywhere in the world to a soldier or weapon system faster than ever before, the US military is growing interest in exploiting satellite imagery to improve tactical awareness and target beyond line of sight. On Saturday at 10.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the American company was also set to launch a Turkish communications satellite from Florida. At 4.41 a.m., the two-stage Falcon 9 rocket launched from the seaside Vandenberg Space Force Base and arced over the Pacific Ocean. The first stage of the Falcon returned to Earth and landed on a SpaceX drone ship in the ocean. It was the stage's 11th launch and recovery. According to launch commentator Yumi Zhao, at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, the second stage continued into orbit and the satellite's deployment was verified. For years, SpaceX has been working tirelessly on Starlink to bring internet coverage to underprivileged places throughout the world. On Saturday, Starlink launched a network of almost 2,000 satellites in low Earth orbit, making their 34th successful mission. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you liked watching our content, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel.